everyone. I'm Vivian from Tangli Chinese. Welcome to my Chinese character learning series. In this lesson, we are going to learn some interesting characters. At first, we will review some of the Chinese characters you have learned before. Then we will overlap these simple characters into new ones. Without further ado, let's learn together. Let's look at the first word, 火，火。From previous lessons, we know that fire is a hieroglyphic character. The word 火 comes from the shape of a flame as it burns. You can see the picture. This is how the character 火 has evolved. Have you ever wondered what character would be if I put two 火 together? Well, the answer is 盐盐盐 literally means the flame rises, the fire gets stronger. So in daily life, 盐 usually indicates high temperature and hot weather. For example, 炎热 means scorching hot. Let's try one more time. What would the character be if there were three of them together? Bingo! It is 焰焰焰 literally means the fire is so strong that flames can be seen. But this word is not commonly used. And it's usually only used by very few people in their names to signify a future as bright as a flame. I'm sure you learn more about the character 火 Now let's move on to another word, 口口 This character is pretty easy. 口 means mouth. In ancient times, the character 口 was also used to represent a person. You can also see the picture. This is how the character 口 has evolved. Since one 口 means mouse, what about two? Well, when it comes to two, it is a bit tricky because it has nothing to do with people. So it is definitely no means two people. Indeed, it means spinning, especially the water spinning. Look at the pictures. You will understand how the character has evolved. Now we usually use 回 to mean return or back. For instance, 回家 go home. Same rules. What would the character be if there were three of them together? The answer is 品品 At this point, let's go back to the original meaning of 口 So three means a lot of people here. In ancient times, people were social animals. Basically, people lived in the same area. But once there were more people. There were more quarrels and robberies, so Pin means moral personality. For example, Pin Ge, moral personality. Besides that, Pin can also indicate quality. For example, Pin Zhi, the good or bad quality of an item. This is the end of today's Chinese character lesson. Before we say goodbye, let's take a quick review. Can you name what we learned in this lesson? If you can't, it's okay. Watch it again. Hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to leave comments and subscribe to our channel. Take care of yourself, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.